you know I jump right into all my videos. I'm just gonna be blunt. This isn't good. Now this is a very common question I've gotten and that is what happens if I don't pay my DistroKid membership? Let's say you change credit cards and you forget to put your new one on your DistroKid account. Let's say you just don't have the money in your account. What happens if you don't pay that DistroKid yearly fee? Being straight up, your music will be removed from stores. Yes. Meaning, if let's say you're doing the basic DistroKid membership, which is $20 a year, and for whatever reason, whether it's something that you don't have the money, whether your credit card, you know, got switched up and it's not on file, whatever the case is, if you don't pay that $20 a year fee and DistroKid says, hey, uh, just letting you know, you haven't paid yet, you haven't paid yet, you gotta pay, and you just ignore them or you forget or whatever, your music will be removed from stores, which I know is very frustrating. I will say this though, they do give you a bit of a lag. I remember one time I lost my credit card, had to get a new one, I just forgot to put it on DistroKid, and they contacted me saying, hey Mark, we tried charging your credit card, but it wasn't going through, it kept getting blocked, you need to put a new credit card on file because your music will be removed from stores. I did so, no issue. So I will say that, but they do give you a heads up of like, hey, we tried charging you, it wasn't going through. So I feel like they do try to give you a little bit of a leeway period of time. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how long of a period of time that is, but I would not risk it. Do whatever you can to make sure that every year you're paying that yearly fee, whether it's the $20 a year or that $36 a year, which is what I personally do, because I like having the custom label name I've mentioned that in a bunch of other videos. Just trust me, you want to make sure you pay that yearly fee. Now, there is one asterisk on this, I will say, and that is the leave a legacy option. The way leave a legacy works is this. If you release a single, it's a one-time $29 fee, or if you release an album, it's a $49 one-time fee. What this does is ensures that at any point in time, if you can't pay your district membership, if you cancel your account, whatever the case is, your music will never be removed from stores. So in some ways, it's a nice little cushion, maybe mentally being like, okay, I just worked, you know, a year, two years on this one album. I'm gonna spend the 50 bucks. That way I know no matter what, my music, no matter what happens, will never be removed from stores. If let's say you're a musician, you're worried about, you know, let's say if something comes up or whatever, spending 50 bucks to make sure that that one album you just released will never, ever, ever, ever be removed from stores isn't a bad idea. So I will say that as like a quick side tangent, I feel like I did have to mention it for this video, but summing it up again, if you don't pay your yearly fee for DistroKid, if you don't pay your DistroKid membership fee and your songs don't have that leave a legacy option, they will be removed from stores.